Hello, hello, Mana here, and welcome to day one of Indie RPG Month, where I'll be posting a new Indie RPG video every single day this month, uh, aiming to play at least 20. There's going to be a few that'll be two-parters, maybe even three, a couple of uh, longer ones there. Uh, we'll kind of see how we go, but just going to have some fun with it. Uh, it's going to be pretty casual. Uh, I have got a good list going, but feel free to make any suggestions. I'll, uh, I'll try and get them in. And uh, yeah, just uh, hope you're all doing well, hope you enjoy, and... Hope you're looking forward to some indie RPGs. I uh, I certainly am, and it'll be good to clear down my to playlist a bit. And this is one that's been on there a while. We are we are starting with Night Bewitched Enhanced Edition, the demo version. It is fully released. There is also a sequel, and this developer's worked on some other stuff. So if you want to check that out, I have it linked in the description. Uh, this is available both on Steam and itch.io. And uh, yeah, no, I think we're just gonna jump in and have some fun. See what it's all about. Hope you're doing well, and thank you for watching. Please select a difficulty. You can use the arrow keys mouse controller, make a selection with Z or left click, press F1 or that thing to toggle full screen. Uh, I'm using control. Oh yeah, it says controller. I read that. All right, that's a good, that's a good start. <laughs> uh, uh, normally we'll just go normal mode, but let's go with hard. Why not? Hard mode for experienced JRPG players. Proceed with this difficulty. Why not? We'll see how we go. Difficulty can be changed anytime with a manual. Always good. Low-end devices can disable certain video effects with F3 or 1. Good stuff. Lair of Typhus the Younger. Is this the place, Alduin? Yes, the local spot is Typhus retreating into this cavern. What are we waiting for then? Let's go! Your name is Stray, right? Yeah. Stay behind me, okay? There's no point in getting revenge for your parents if you die in the process. Just use the bow I gave you. We'll be fine, I promise. Consider yourself lucky, child. To be protected by Lady Ruth is a privilege you should respect. I'd help you watch over him, milady, but I must keep my eyes trained elsewhere. That's fine. I think we'll be alright. Everyone, stay close to me. This cave's probably teeming with monsters. Okay. We, uh... So we have Ruth, Stray, Alduin, and Uno. Okay. I really I like the designs. Stray is a... Interesting name. We, uh... Okay, we've got save at any point. I, I always like that. Hmm. Let's, uh... Oh, I was trying to, like, the, the thing down the bottom. How do we, like, go through those? I guess it's in that? Is that that same? Typhus the Younger retreated to this cavern after destroying the elfish town of Nilheim. He must be brought to justice. Oh, so I guess maybe that's like the current task or something? Yes, we've got a... We'll check the biographies. Why not? A natural born leader and protector, Ruth became a knight... <laughs> right, right, good, good start to my reading here. A natural born leader and protector, Ruth became King Floyd's personal bodyguard at just 20 years old. Her skills led King Floyd to nickname her his Angel of Justice. Born to a poor farming family in the elvish town of Nilheim, Stray has trained in a variety of practical skills such as farming, hunting and fishing. He is also an amateur harpist. Bearing the title of Archmage, Alduin is King Floyd's only sorcerer. He studied magic relentlessly with the purpose of using it to help locate his long lost sister. Uno's real name is known only to himself and his motives are unclear. Anytime a member of the bourgeois is found dead, the killing is attributed to Uno, with or without evidence. Hmm, okay. Interesting group we have here. Can we, uh, can we go backwards? Yes, we can. Life powder, good stuff. Can we leave? Milady, where are you going? Oh, I, I just want a breath of fresh air. No. Oh. <laughs> Touche. Alright, guess we, uh, guess we better head in. Typhus Lair 2. 
Uh, oh, we... Oh, we have diagonal movement. I didn't... Uh, ah, okay. I'll go with analog then. Very good. Oh, I like the design of them. I never know with some, like, um... With, like, RPG Maker games, how much I should attribute, like, things to the creator. Because, obviously, there is a lot of, uh... Assets and... Well, asset packs and tile sets and... All that kind of stuff available. But, uh, the skeletons still look cool. Oh, I should probably also remember I did choose hard, didn't I? But, uh, we'll just go with some normal attacks till we get a base feel for things. So far, so good. Oh, we're, uh... Generals were different levels. Three, one, two, and three. Okay. Is that something collectible? Nope. Wait, did I? Oh, okay. I was like, wait, didn't I? Wasn't there another path? Ah, uh, okay. Spider. Skull man that appears to be jelly? <laughs> Something and a bat. Alright, that, that's, that's fine. Oh, so it tells you exactly how much strike fast and hard for 41 damage. Is that like specific to Swift? Is it uh, different depending on who I attack? No, oh, okay. Aim shot, guaranteed hit, increased chance critical strike. Sorry about that, I had to, uh, had to cough. Oh, a bit dry. Yeah, guaranteed hit, increased uh, critical strike. Good, good. Uh, what do we got? Uh, fire, one enemy, one enemy, one enemy, and we've got heals. Okay. Guessing spider, not a fan of fire. Backstab, attempt to backstab me with 37 damage, reduce target's armor by 20%, sounds good, we'll go with the bat. Ooh, oh, yeah, I'm going to have to pay attention to health a bit. Stray's, uh, Stray could probably use a heal. Mend wounds, 5 MP, okay. I'm sure we can manage. Maybe. Uh, yeah, we probably want to save some MP. I don't don't think we have any items on us. But we may. Maybe I can be more useful now. Yeah, do we actually have any items? One life powder, okay. <laughs> Alright, don't want to don't use all that MP too quick then. Oh, we've got an ether. Very good. That'll uh, cover us a little bit. Oh, there's a few ways to go. Five Gs. And a tonic, I'll take it. Make sure we pick up all the goodies we can. Can we, uh... Can we not run? Oh. Okay. I won't be running for most fights, I just, uh... Just want to get a baseline for things, as I said. Try and be a little bit thorough, but if when you are thorough, you do, uh... Tend to fight more than you otherwise would. <laughs> I want to go through all our resources. But we do want levels, so. Uh, does anyone need to heal? Probably okay. Backstab the slime, please. Yeah, we might actually, uh... Might try and... How does... Wait. Yeah. Alduin, how's your normal attack? We might want to save your MP for heals. And healing yourself. <laughs> uh, you know, medium, I guess. Let's uh, make sure you stay alive to be able to heal others. That's that's uh, kind of important too. Uh, Uno, I'll, I'll heal you shortly, buddy. Very nice. Another tonic, I'll be taking that. And another tonic, happily take that. What are, oh, I just assumed, oh no, I'm sorry, oh god. <laughs> My brain is, uh, I've been dealing with some insomnia and I good sleep last night, but I'm still kind of in the recovery phase, so <laughs> bear with me a little bit here. Hopefully it'll uh, smooth out through the month. <laughs> well, smooth out over the next few days anyway. <laughs> but uh, we'll use one tonic. 
Save a little, uh, no he's too. Try and save a little bit of MP for the fights. Hello? Typhus? You, uh, you about, buddy? Well, not buddy, but nonetheless. It's locked. Uno, you, you seem roguish. Can you, can you take that on, buddy? Really? What sort of dragon hides behind a locked door? This cave used to be a coldest hideout. Maybe it was just locked to begin with. Uno, could you ask? I'll take care of it. Okay, I wasn't being assumptive. <laughs> well, I was, but I was correct, so it's fine. Uno, what kind of name is that? It's his nickname, short for unknown. We don't know his real name. King Floyd trusted him enough to hire him for this quest, but I don't. He'll stab us in the back the moment we're not looking. You think so? Of course, why wouldn't he? He's an infamous rogue. Killing people is what he does. I don't know. I just don't get that vibe from him, I guess. Maybe the king feels the same way. Of course you don't. That's the whole point. So naive. Hey. Maybe he's just misunderstood, man. All done. Very good. Typhus Lair 4. Ooh, I see me a chest. I see me another chest. Full heal? Is that, uh, just MP? I mean, just health or is it MP as well? Uh, it removes stat- oh, okay. So it's not, uh, it's for status effects. Gotcha, gotcha. And uh, we'll, we'll run from this one. Alright, what does auto do? Assume there's auto attacks. I don't know if it's, uh... Yeah. Okay, I was gonna run, but we've already started the fight, so it's fine. And Alduin, you do need to heal again, buddy. Oh yeah, he's already down to 5 MP, so... Gotta be a little bit careful with that. I mean, because we, we're presumably, I don't know if we'll be getting like a boss fight, that's kind of why I'm hesitant. I mean, early boss fight, obviously, but... Uh, yeah, you should probably drink up. And... I guess we don't know if we'll get a heal somewhere, so... Maybe we'll, uh, we'll just be a little... Yeah, we'll save. Any goodies? That is goodies. Uh, not right now, please. I have a chest to loot. Life powder. That is welcome. That is nothing. A couple more crates over that way. Uh, oh. What do you have? Uh, seven Gs. Okay. I thought it was grain, but money is good too. I don't know, maybe we should be getting uh, the XP in if we're doing hard mode. <laughs> never never know how hard hard mode will actually be in a RPG like this. I really like the skeleton. Kind of a... Yeah. I guess they felt the need to protect their legs and arms the most. Yeah, there's some body protection. Okay. <laughs> Oh, right, MP. That That is a thing, isn't it? Alright, we'll just go normal attacks and hope for the best. Should be fine. Alright, oh, there, there is an auto for that, isn't there? Although Alduin's uh, not doing too good. Oh, okay. Yeah, probably shouldn't be so cavalier about that. Gotta make sure you stay alive. Wait, what does Meditate do? Ooh. Don't hit Uno, please. I was curious if what Meditate does. Thought it might restore MP or something. No, either way, keep Uno alive. Level 3 for Alduin. Good stuff. The stronger I become, the closer I get to my ultimate goal. Also good. 
Another ether, another potion. Those are most welcome. Hello, small hole. Hello? Anyone? Anyone home? The door's blocked from the inside. Hmm. I could light it on fire, but... I have an idea. I'll crawl through his hole and unlock the door. Wait, we don't know that's... On the other side. Foolish boy. He'll get us all killed. Go easy on him, Alduin. He's just a child. My apologies. Though I trust your judgement, I fail to understand why you allowed him to accompany us. His entire village was burned down by the dragon we're hunting. He's the only survivor we know of. Apparently his parents were eaten alive. He wants revenge. If I didn't let him tag long, he'd have come here alone. And if he did... Great job. Just leave it to me. Still feel like that's a... It's a very small hole to be caught crawling in. Did I get this chest? I did, right? Did I? Okay. <laughs> I had to double check. Doubting myself here. Alright, Typhus Lair 5. Hello? Oh, and I guess, yeah, at the start when I just heard Typhus, I assumed that was the name of a person. Didn't uh, quite realise we were going after a dragon. <laughs> oh, crap, yeah, Una needs a heal. Can we, uh. Yeah, that's better. Come on, Ether. Ah, still good, but Ether's a lot more useful. Uh, flower, maybe useful. Uh, skellies, eh, it's fine. The party's HP and MP is fully restored. Oh, that is that is good. Dang, you can't really rely on that happening, so. Yes, in hindsight, when it would have been good to save some more stuff. Well, let, let's stay nice and healed. I'm just assuming potential boss fight. You hear it too, my lady? Yeah, heavy breathing. He's here. Come on, let's get him. I'm ready. Don't let vengeance cloud your judgment, Stray. Uh, Sylvans will shield us from the flames, but it can't stop the dragon from just eating you. Stay behind me. Keep a cool head and we'll be fine, alright? Fine. Uh, hello, dragon. I'm, I'm just gonna, like, just look around a little bit. <laughs> Don't mind me. Got any cool stuff? What's out the back? Foolish humans, your time has come to an end. I'll burn you all to ashes. Well, we'll see about that, buddy. We will see about that. I have delicious resources to use, so... Uh, may inflict slow, lowering targets agility and evasion. Inflicts electrocute, dealing additional thunder damage over four turns. Oh yes please. I'll take me some dots. Ooh, Stray, you are taking a bit of damage there, bud. Uh... Yeah, Alduin, you're just going to be on heals, I think. Ah, uh, stay alive though, please. I would appreciate that. I mean, we've got, yeah, we've got five more heals, so... Should be okay. Or not. Wait. Did they get, wait, what? Why didn't Alduin get the turn first? Ah, okay. Do we have, uh... Oh, there's a revive, okay. Um... Yeah, we kind of need Alduin alive. Um... Do you reckon we can... Can we do that? As long as Ruth has a turn first, that should be okay. Oh, damn. The healing po- it got used on Ruth because Alduin wasn't alive yet. Okay. Well, uh... Oh wait, do we have more than one life powder? Oh nice, I thought we only had one. 
Yeah. Well, that's nice. All right, Alduin, you do that. Go for an aim shot. Also, heal yourself. Yeah, we'll go with that. Oh, okay, backstab drops armor, that's good. Okay, everybody alive. Uh, get you healed up, Uno. Yeah. That uh, AoE attack was pretty rough, but hopefully we can keep things up here. Got one more revive to work with. Uh, let's see. Let's go on to the Thunderbolt. Oof. The dragon's breath is a bit rough. Yeah, okay. Let's, um... Mm, okay. How do we want to manage this? Heal Alduin. What does Hyde do, I wonder? I'm going to try Hyde, because I feel like maybe they're not going to get hit. And then we'll heal up... We'll heal up Ruth. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll give an MP to Alduin. Hopefully that works out. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. Hiding, I'm hoping, means they're not getting hit, but we'll have to see. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, they can still... Uh, I wish I knew what Hyde did. Alright, I guess we'll just have to hope for the best there. Keep Uno alive. Uh, you got no backstab left. Alright, normal attack for you. Okay. Still good, still good. Oh, fools. You may have defeated me, but Father will rise again from my ashes. This entire world will burn. The entire world. Oh, now. Nice. Got a little rough there, but we got through. Great work, everyone. Indeed. But what do you suppose he was talking about? I'm not sure, but there's no need to worry about that right now. The king is waiting for us. Let's head home. Sounds good to me. Later that day. So many people. Bow to the king, fool. Oh, sorry. Alduin, you know how I despise such formalities. Let the child stand. My apologies, my lord. Lady Ruth, your bravery and valor has saved your kingdom once again. With Sylvans at your side, you truly are an angel of justice. Thank you, my lord. Wielding Sylvans was an honor I did not deserve. Young Stray, words cannot express my sorrow over the loss of Nilheim. I'll see to it that every man and woman there is given a proper burial. Th thank you, sir. I, I mean, my lord. I've learned much about you from Lady Ruth. I understand that she'd like to make you her squire, is that correct? Y yeah, I think. Normally one must train as a page for seven years first, but considering the circumstances, I approve of Ruth's request. Cool, thanks. I, I mean, thank you, my lord. Many have trained for the opportunity to serve under Ruth. She is my strongest knight, after all. Serve her well, young stray. Psst. Hey, where's the other guy? Uno? The king wouldn't dare praise a wanted criminal. Who knows where that man is lurking right now? Oh, I guess that makes sense. That concludes our celebration. Ruth, come see me along with your squire first thing tomorrow. You're dismissed. I really like the uh, art style of the characters. Ruth's house. So, um, thanks for helping me out and making me a squire and stuff. No problem. Most kids your age would have ran off or rushed in head first. You listened and fought well. It also helps that you're good with a bow. Yeah, my dad taught me how to use it. I also know how to play the flute and harps, I guess. 
Our skills will come in handy. We'll make a good team. So since I'm your squire, that means I have to clean your armor and carry your stuff around, right? Yep, you'll also be writing everything down for me. It'll be nice not to have to do paperwork anymore. I was kind of wondering though, how does that armor protect you? It's barely covering anything. It's designed this way so little perverts like you will get distracted before I whack you upside the head. <laughs> so, sorry, I, I wasn't looking, I swear. Ah, I'm just messing with you. Now get some rest. The king wants us up right and early tomorrow. Yes, sir. Oh, ma'am? Lady? M miss? Alonia. Right and early as always, Lady Ruth. Typhus's dying breath was nothing but an idle threat, it seems. The dragon you slayed with Typhus the Younger, son of Typhus the Worldbreaker. According to the text, it's not clear what exactly happened to him. Supposedly he was banished or sealed away centuries ago. That's a relief. I mean, I think the next morning's a little bit early to be making these judgments, but uh, you know. Let us move on to your next quest. Lady Ruth, you are familiar with the witches, yes? I've heard of them. I can't say I've met, a, met one, though. A witch was recently spotted in, un, in the Underbog, the swamp northeast of Northshire. Our reports indicate this witch has been poisoning the townsfolk of Northshire with befouled concoctions. One even reported his blood stolen by force. Your quest is to find this witch and bring her here to face justice. I'll be accompanying you as well. You're not bringing the child, are you? Hey, what's your problem? The underbog is dangerous. Bog fever could easily kill you. He's coming with us. Besides, it'll be good training exercise for him. Or do you not trust my judgement again, Alduin? Of course. My apologies. The threat of bog fever concerns me as well. Just in case, I've hired Uno to accompany you again. Would it be- wait, would it be Uno or Uno? I think I, I think I said one then the other. Because I guess it was like unknown, so... Uno? I'm going to stick with Uno. <laughs> yeah. Unless I change. Okay. Uno, maybe. Hmm. You should be rotting away in a jail right now. I would be if you were competent enough, Alduin. Why, you... I really like Udo's design. Wait, did I just say Udo? Okay, dude's going to have like five names by the time we're done here. <laughs> have I failed to produce an acceptable arrangement for you? Uh, of course it is, my lord. Please accept my sincerest apologies. So, do we have any idea what this witch looks like? Unfortunately, no. Only a name of someone from Northshire gave me. Gwen the Demon Witch. A suitable name, I think. Fair enough. Maybe we can find some more information about her in Northshire. I'll pray for your safe return. Don't forget to visit the shops and restock if you haven't already. Okay. I'll pray for your safe return. All right, appreciate that, King. Any uh, any good reads? <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's head out. Okay, not not the most chatty lot. Okay, <laughs> not not the most social people hanging out. I could really go for a beer right now. Oh, I feel you, buddy. Guards on duty won't speak to you, but we're on break. Not that I have anything important to say. Oh. Fair enough. Oh, hello. Almost missed that. Do we have loot? This is literally the most boring job ever. We never have any prisoners. There's no one to watch. Even Uno was only in prison for like a few days. And even then only because you got lucky. Lucky, we caught you stalking around the king's bedchambers, fool. You're lucky we didn't kill you right then and there. And if you had, your head would be on a guillotine right now. What? What the hell is that supposed to mean? Just ignore it and resume your duties, please. That is a... Uh, I assume he... I guess if he was guarding the king, maybe? Hmm. Either way, free potion. I'll take it. Uh, not that way. Actually, yeah, do we have... Uh, I got 51 gold. Hopefully we can get a few ethers with that. Alright, I guess you're on duty, huh? Fair enough. And who might you be? Ah, Lady Ruth. You're as beautiful as always. It is an honor to serve you, my prince. The honor is all mine, my lady. Perhaps you'd like to join me for a cup of tea this afternoon? 
I, I would love to, but the king is sending my squire and I on another quest. We may be gone for a while. I, I understand. I'll pray for your safe return then. A healer travels here once a month. Folks from all around the continent line up to watch him work. What was his name again? Gormoth? Largoth? Uh, I, I don't know. Maybe we'll meet them down the line. This is the uh, Kingdom of Halonia then. Okay. Oh, Lady Ruth. It's such a pleasure to see you. <laughs> think, uh, think he might be a fan. Welcome to Halonia. Oh, Lady Ruth. Uh, obviously, you live here already. Yep, yes we do. <laughs> Pardon, my friend. She's not used to celebrating without alcohol. You, you all go kill a dragon and we can't even drink to celebrate? Nope, sorry. Halonia's a dry country. Eh, lame. Yeah, I really like the art style of the characters. Also interesting, so it's a dry country. I wonder if there's uh, something to that. Oh, that's the leave, I guess. Take a look at the sides. Does this connect up? Yes, it does. I assume shop around here somewhere. Just so you know what's over here first. Oh, I thought, wait, what was we in front of? This looked like a church, but then that also looked, oh, don't think this is a church. <laughs> This is Halonia's statue room, built to commemorate everyone who helped make the night for which hands edition a reality. Though it's a bit empty at the moment. Why am I here again? Oh, okay. I'm not really sure. Okay. Wait, so let me read that again. This is the Halonia statue room, built to commemorate everyone who helped make the night's bit night for which hands edition a reality. Though it's a bit empty at the moment. I don't. Is that? Hmm. Not really sure what's up with that. I guess if this demo was done before the release, maybe? I don't know, maybe they unlock through the game? I don't know. Yeah. That's cool, though. You're always welcome to pray and seek guidance here, faithful one. Guess that's like a confessional. But is there loot? Uh, <laughs> I think our head's a bit stuck there. Sometimes they let me play the piano, but I'm not very good at it. Lady Ruth, greetings. Hello to you, Hermes. How have you been? Has the clergy been treating you well? Yes, it's only been a couple weeks since I started here, but I already feel right at home. Great, I knew you'd fit right in. Let me know how your training goes. I'd love to have you tag along with me one day. It's always used to have a cleric around, you know? Of course. Thank you for the opportunity, Lady Ruth. Her head is bent down in prayer. We shouldn't disturb her. I'm praying to Saint Helena, Helena to make. I'm praying to Saint Helena to heal my sick sister. Oh, good stuff. Nice little. Uh, I was gonna say pond, but it feels. I don't know if that's the right word. <laughs> The idea of a bridge being over a pond seems strange for some reason. <laughs> Don't think that even makes sense, but anyway. Oop, oh, well. Ah. Dragon Quest has taught me to always check the wells. When I grow up, I want to be a knight just like you, Lady Ruth. Oh, good luck. Lady Ruth, I've looked up to you for a long time. You really are an inspiration. Oh, no. Oh. It's nice of you. Hey, kitty. How are you? What have we got up here? Goddess statue? Maybe? Oh, this is this is where our house is, okay. Is there loot? That's the question. Oh, receive loot Ruth's flash of light skill trinket. Okay. I don't know what that is. Uh, grants Ruth the Flash of Light skill. Okay, what does that do? 
I guess we'll have to see in combat. Uh, doesn't look like there'd be anything else. Wait, can we like rest here? Do we need to? Okay, no rest. Oh, gold? Nice, 25G. Hey, um, why do you just have a bag of gold lying around? Ah, uh, it was a gift. Guys send me stuff like this all the time. Like that gold lamp over there. I have a lot of guys trying to get in my pants. It's something I've learned, had to learn to deal with. Trying to get in your pants? They must not be doing so well, seeing as you're not wearing any. <laughs> Isn't that a good thing though? You can pretty much pick from any guy you want. True, but I just haven't been in that interested, I guess. I'm far too busy with the work to worry about romance. That's my excuse. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. I mean, hey, free gold stuff. Can always sell it. Which, uh, well, I guess we're going to put at least the 25G to use. <laughs> ah, so he's going to talk. What about you? It's a pleasure to serve under you, my lady. Uh, let's take a look anyway. Uh, yeah, I think we'll be probably sticking with items. They're all, okay, they're all upgrades, but... Hmm. Yeah, with how much we have, I think we're probably good for now. Wait, do you sell the same stuff? It's 5G for one night. Would you like to stay? Oh, it's an inn as well. Okay. Yeah, I feel like uh, Ether is really the way to go, right? Because like tonics only recover 15 HP, whereas in Ether, like it recovers 20 MP, and that equals four heals by Alduin. So it seems like in all cases that's better. Uh, an extra one of them wouldn't be a bad idea. Here's blind status. Um, we'll grab two of those and two antidotes. Grab five of those. Actually, yeah, we'll do that. Yeah. That'll be good. I think that'll be uh, most useful. Alright, I guess we're heading off. Are you on duty? Thought so. <laughs> Flowers? Oh, we have got a... Um, uh, can't think of the word. Mode 7 style thing. Old school something. Overworld. <laughs> Either way, I, I like these style of overworlds. Oh, hello, you giant wasps. How are you? Uh, what's happened to our skills? That's... what? Uh, I'm not sure. Okay, you've, you're still good. You're still good. Okay, something's happened to Ruth's skills after we acquired that thing. That's a bit odd. Nice. A new skill added to my repertoire. Oh, whatever it takes. I really like Uno's design, looks awesome. I was, can't really see it that much better there. Um, yeah, I don't know what's... Uh, I mean, Cover and Disarm are showing there now. So we, do we have to equip that? Trinket. Do we actually... Oh. Okay, we do have to equip that. Oh, she's got no weapon. Is that why no skill was showing, or...? Because everyone else has a weapon. Did I do something weird? Uh. Oh yeah, at the bottom. Our first stop is Northshire to learn more about the witch. The quickest route there is to follow the path out of Helonia. Uh, that does sound good. I'm just very confused as to where your sword is. She did have a sword, right? I guess so. Let's check that. We can save, then we can... 
How do you load? Oh, yeah, Sylvans. Oh, so that is... Okay, I didn't... I was wondering what Sylvans uh, actually meant. Uh, I assumed it was something she had, but I didn't know if it was like a magic item. I didn't, uh, didn't pay attention to that. That was what the weapon was called. And, oh, so that grants the skill Swift Strike. Okay, so that, that makes sense. Okay. Okay, so where is our sword? Is it back at the house, maybe? Unless there's like... She was specifically given that for the mission? A tad confused. Uh, I don't know if maybe it was like sitting on a display thing where to grab it or something. Like, uh, I, I do not know. Seems a bit odd. Well, uh, we do have this short bow. What are you using at the moment? Oh, I guess we, uh, how much is a sword? <laughs> like, even if we just get something crappy, I guess. Well, there's only one here anyway, I think. This is a short sword. Oh, that actually gives swift strike as well. Uh, can we sell the training? What does that give us? Uh, maybe the full heal? How much does that sell for? Only four. Alright, let's, uh... I don't even know if we need it, but it, it seems like we do. Maybe we'll just fight something and then grab that sword. Actually, I think we'll just make a save here and we'll keep going. It could be that she actually still has it, but it's not, like, equipped or something. Like, it could be story-related. Uh, I think we're fine for the minute anyway. We'll just jump back if we need to. Ooh. Okay. Please don't hit Stray again. That was not the best idea. Gonna, gonna need a bit of a heal for you there, bud. Oh, come on. Why, why you gotta do Stray like that? Not cool, man. Not cool. Guess we, uh, gonna have to go heal anyway. Four gold. Not a lot. Yeah, we better actually heal, because... Yeah, we've only got a couple of the recovery items. Oh my. Ah, uh, that, that didn't go well. Definitely need a rest now. Oh, uh, table? You are, you are not... That's that's not how tables are meant to work. It's 5G for one night. Would you like to stay? Yes, please. That would be very good. All set. I'm still wondering if something, like, didn't go wrong. Like, do we need to talk to someone again? Oh, the king's on the chair now. No, it's all the same. Okay. Alright, we'll just, we'll just run with it. Okay, I just, uh, I did a couple of battles. That way we can, uh, grab the sword. <laughs> Thought it'd just be the, the best way to go. I think it was, wait, was it 20? Hopefully. Because, uh, I think we have... Yeah, we're 32, so we can grab a sword, then heal up. Oh, it was 15. <laughs> ah. Well. That's simple enough. Give that to you. Hopefully it wasn't a waste. Have a quick nap. Oop, ah. Uh, and we'll be good to go. Alright, off to Northshire we go. Does it North <laughs> Northshire? And some of the uh, some of the battles here are surprisingly rough on hard. They hit the uh, yeah one of the group of three almost wiped. I think we'll mix in uh, getting some XP and running from a few of them. Probably won't be uh, too far to travel. I'm guessing though. Oh yep. <laughs> oh hello. Touche. Well, we are heading into a town, so... 
we should be able to uh, justify a couple of battles. Oh right, yeah, I um, I meant to say it when I was doing those battles, but I somehow forgot. Yeah, the flash of light spell. It's a um, yeah, it's a healing one, but it also grants a blessing buff. So yeah. Restores 20 HP to one ally, usually goes first in turn order, and grants a blessing buff, yeah. So, that'll be good. Knock out some wasp to our rabbit. Very good. Level up Stray and Alduin. Neat, I'm getting stronger. My magic grows stronger. That it does. Here we are, the beautiful mountain town of Northshire. Lady, I suggest we speak to the locals and gather information. Afterward, we should rent a table at the inn and discuss our findings. Agreed. I wouldn't mind a drink either. Cool. Since I'm a squire now, do I get to drink too? Nope. Nice try though. Aw, oh, darn. <laughs> ah, too bad, Stray. Welcome to Northshire. A witch? Nope. Haven't seen one. Sorry. All this armor looks the same. Can't they make anything better? A witch? Yeah, I've heard rumors of one around here. Personally, I don't believe it. Are these the same, or...? I don't know, some different stuff. We ain't that rich yet, though. <laughs> bad times are coming. Oh, I tell ya. Bad times are coming. Yes siree, there's a witch. That blue-haired devil tried to poison me. Gave me a tonic, said it'd perk me right up. It almost killed me. I was bedridden for a week. That's because you took too much. So you told you to take a sip once a day. You drank the whole bottle in an afternoon because you thought it'd get you drunk. And it didn't even do that. Damn witch. <laughs> uh, don't mind him. He's had a few too many. I guess Northshire is the place to be if you want to drink. Oh, is, wait, is this the letter or better? Oh no, that's for Uno, okay. Hello, chickens. How are you? I used to visit Nilheim up north every summer. The elves were wonderful people. The whole village is gone now. What do they do deserve such a horrible fate? I don't know. Probably not much. The underbog is a blessing and a curse. Medicinal herbs grow all over the bog, but the risk of dying from bog fever is enough to keep most people away. I'm such an idiot. I hope St. Helena can forgive me. Yeah, I know the witch. It's a blue-haired girl who lives in the Underbog. She tricked me into giving her a sample of my blood. She needed to run tests or something. I don't know. She's a demon, I tell you. I'm the one who nicknamed her. Uh... Sounds more like a doctor, but... <laughs> You'd think more people would be here to pray on a Sunday. No one respects St. Helena these days. Ooh, door. It's locked. Oh. Well, touche. Hello, boy. Hi. A witch? What's that? Alright, I'll leave you to it. Oh, we got a inn? Have you heard of the cult of Dracon? Uh, no, I have not. They're a cult that worships the dragon Typhus. Not the one that taught Nilheim, mind you, but the older one, Typhus the Worldbreaker. Rumor is they've been trying to recruit people from Cape Town. It's a little odd though, don't you think? Typhus hasn't been around for a long, long time. Say, you look like a capable archer. Here, take this. If you ever run into those lunatics, give them a good arrow in the knee for me, would ya? Oh, okay, school shot trinket. Cool. Make sure we equip that, otherwise I'll probably forget. I assume explosive shot, so uh, maybe that's like a multi-target thing? Even a pastor needs a break every once in a while. You're hunting a witch? A blue-haired girl stops by once a week to trade medicinal herbs, but I wouldn't call her a witch. It was a boy who made quite a ruckus over a witch stealing his blood. Maybe you had better luck talking to him. <laughs> Seems like the rumors have uh, got a bit out of hand. I came here to play music, but I left my flute at Cape Town. Uh, maybe I should try dancing instead. Ah, this beer tastes like water. How do you humans even drink this crap? 
Sometimes I forget I'm allowed to talk to people when I'm off duty. <laughs> I guess that could happen. Well, uh, I better check elsewhere before we get a table. Might progress without meaning to. The underbog is surrounded by mountains to the northeast. I wouldn't go there if I were you. Bog fevers are bad around this time of year. If you decide to go anyway, do yourself and bring out do yourself a favor and bring antidotes. Ah. Well, we got a couple. Hmm. Wait, was the uh? Oh, this side was items. All right. If it's gonna be poison, we might want to grab a couple more. Hi, what can I do for you? A room and a table for the night, please. I'll cover the cost, of course. Wait, this is what? <laughs> this is meant to be the shop side, right? Damn it. <laughs> After speaking to the locals, it seems the only thing we've learned is that the witch has blue hair. Well, it's something. Not many people have blue hair, right? Uh, maybe. <laughs> Besides Uno. So, do any of you know anything about witches? Because I sure don't. Aren't they usually old hags who live in swamps and eat frogs and stuff? I've met some in the past. They're a good source of certain products. Poison, no doubt. Of course you'd be in league with witches. You're not wrong. We tend to share a common hatred of bourgeois like yourself. Bourgeois what? Hmm. <laughs> You're one of those kind of people. No wonder. Regardless, yes, I know of witches. My mother was one. Really? I had no idea. She kept it hidden from all of us. When my father found out and confronted her, she murdered him, took my sister and fled. After, and left me behind to die. That was to be my fate until the king took me in and raised me as his own. So you lost your parents too, huh? And you never found your sister, did you? Correct. I became a mage with hopes of using magic to find her. I'm not strong enough yet, but until I am, I'll keep my vow to hunt and slay witches at any cost. Okay. Well, I think I'm ready for bed. Sleep well, everyone. We have a long day ahead of us. I mean, I feel like they should have paid a little more attention to what was being said, though, right? I mean, just talking to the townspeople should have sort of... It, it, the rumors are pretty shaky, right? <laughs> like, you have one dude who was weird about his blood. The other guy with the potion, his wife said he drank it too quickly. Like, you know? Wait, is this going to be a shop, though, now? Oh. It's Senji for one night. Would you like to stay? Okay, that's weird. Can I... Can you be a shop now? Huh. Yeah, okay, I, I was correct. Yeah, we'll grab a couple more. I don't know if we'll need them, but just in case. And we'll grab one more of those. Eh, two more. That'll be useful. Alright, I guess we're heading to the Underbog. Uh, nothing down there. We should fight, but I... It, it's fine. <laughs> just, just trying to add more challenge. Oh, come on. A windstorm blew up all this debris. It'll take a while to clear out. I mean, I, I feel like we could probably get over that. I'm, I'm just, you know... I, I feel like that is uh, within our skill set. Hmm, okay. I guess we head back to town? It's the same. Hmm. Uh. I don't know what to do. I'll take another look. Did I miss something here? This looked pretty like... Oh! I didn't know you could walk on these trees. Huh. Ah, okay. <laughs> Found the underbog. No worries. So this is the underbog. It's kind of beautiful in its own way. You know what I mean? Indeed. It's filled with room with herbs. Both medicinal and deadly. Many come here to forage, but some never return. And just what are you doing? Foraging, idiot. <laughs> Received Uno's crippling poison trinket. Poisonous mushrooms. Lady, surely you don't approve of this. As long as he doesn't plan on using it against us, I'll allow it. Damn, 
Looks like you get to live another day, Alduin. <laughs> what are you insinuating? Lady Ruth! He was joking, Alduin. I think. Yeah, Alduin seems like a grump. I mean, you know, the backstory he has, understandable, I guess. Um, I don't know, he, it's like, yeah, I don't know. Uno, I like Uno. <laughs> the witch likely lives deep within the swamp. We'll need to keep an eye on our health. We did bring antidotes, right? We did. Six of them, just hoping that's enough. Ah. Uh, hello, lovely fellows. <laughs> it's an interesting, we have like a zombie thing and a mushroom that wants to eat us and a other a pitcher plant that I, uh, yeah, I think that's a pitcher plant. <laughs> Either way, I'm pretty sure it wants to eat us. H how do you like fire, Flytrap? Oh yes, it fly. Okay, yeah, it's a. Yeah. This is gonna be rough. I was surprised by some of the fights just outside of uh, the first town. But again, it is hard mode, so. Hopefully, we have enough resources to get by. I really need to be uh, probably smarter with the status effects. Because, like, Disarm is good, like that, uh, prevents counterattacks three to five turns, things like that, like, blinding shot, blind targets may miss attacks, like, yeah, so I should be paying a bit more attention with them. Same with, I mean, Thundershock also gives the damage over time, which probably means it's a lot smarter to use as a first attack. Uh, inflicts slow, lowering the target's agility and evasion, eh, it's also good. Although I don't know if a target can be burned and iced at the same time. Oh shit, Ruth, health, right. Please don't hit Ruth, that'll be that'll be very inconvenient. Oh, she's almost dead anyway. Fortunately, she can heal herself, which is uh which is good. Oh, we didn't look at yeah. Explosive shot. Deals 36 damage and reduces target armor by 50%. Damage is increased by the target's armor. Yeah, I mean 50%, that's that ain't bad. Not bad at all. I probably should have used Alduin to heal though, shouldn't I? No, it's alright, worked out. Although that was just, it was just a normal fight, so... Like, and it's easy enough to get through those fights, it's more like you, you can burn your resources quite fast. So I think we'll, uh... We'll get you to mend some wounds. And antidote for you, Ruth. A couple of e oh, should have used only one of them. Eh, it's close enough. All right, what goodies do we have to find here? Eh, we'll, we'll deal with you later. Oh, I thought that was going to go somewhere. Fine, I'll go straight ahead. Oh crap! I didn't equip. Uh, didn't equip that trinket. Brands, most of Uno's attacks have fifty percent chance to inflict crippling poison. Oh, nice. Can we actually harvest any of these ourselves? No. Oh, I see you there. Twelve G's. Thank you. Ah, we'll, we'll, we'll deal with you later. It's fine. Uh, got some goodies over that way. Not sure how much time we should be spending in this area, but, you know. Oh, was on the way. That's all right. Antidote, thank you. Probably doesn't hurt to have a few more of those. Okay, I mean, I'm being slightly lazy on the paddles. <laughs> I don't know. I, I think it's fine. I mean, it's probably not lazy. I think it's just because, like, I have such a habit of, like, always doing all the battles, so I feel like I'm being lazy when I start skipping them, but, you know, they, they are just random encounters. You, you have the option to skip them, so, yeah, I, I just feel, I overthink it and feel weird about it, I think. Um. Oh yeah, I got a monster essence earlier too. I thought, uh, yeah, it was when I did those couple of battles for the, the gold for the sword. 
Essence token from a weak enemy. Can be sold or used in charm crafting. I think, uh, was the Sledo an upgrade for you? Yes, it was. Hell yeah. Just gonna throw a little save down. I was gonna say, I don't know what I was gonna say then. A uh, in case save. It's weird how like, I can feel like so much better after finally getting a good night's sleep. But, I get, but my brain is uh, still clearly a bit slow. <laughs> uh, you have to bear with me for a few days here. Maybe. I'm just, uh, well, I'm hoping the streak is broken and I continue to get good night's sleep anyway. Oh. Okay. Wasn't quite expecting that. Oh, there's a there's a ladder. I, I knew that. I feel like that is not a it's, it's a very strange feature to be in a in a bog. Convenient. Oh, because so we can run back through here too. What are we, ooh, iron boots, yes please. I'm guessing they're for Ruth. Uh maybe not. Oh, unless it counts as like a main armor. Trinket? Charm? Uh. Wait, is it not? Oh, it's an accessory. Wait, who's it for? Oh, okay. Uh. I'll probably give that to Stray. Because I feel like Uno doesn't really want to be losing agility, probably. Alright, that's good. Ah, uh, we'll, we'll deal with you later. <laughs> this is fine. Alright, any other goodies? Yep. It's kind of broken. Can we... Okay, I'm not sure how to deal with that. Apparently there was some money under the uh, poison. I mean, hey, free money's free money. Which way are we meant to go here? Ah, this is the goodies way. Still gauntlets? Are they going to be the same? Oh no, they're uh, all right. They're for Ruth. What are they? Oh, okay. They're an offhand thing. Buckler reduces all physical damage taken by 5%. Slightly increases wearer's aggro. Grants wearer a 10% chance to counterattack after being struck. Hmm. I think the others, like the, uh... The other's sort of better, but these have better stats. I guess we'll go with that. I assume there's going to be like, I don't know, maybe we get the option, some ability to fix things, maybe? I don't know. Oop, can't miss out on the goodies. Delicious resources. Man, somehow I've gone back to using the D-pad again. <laughs> don't know why I keep doing that. Reflooding? I wonder where it all goes. Hmm. Oh. Wait, what? Do the bridges get fixed? Okay, that's kind of weird. <laughs> I mean, very gamey, I guess. It's just, uh, it's a little strange, though. That's not to overthink it. Oh, hello. Don't know why everyone's just leaving sacks of money around. Works for me, though. Wait, were there, ah, uh, there's, there's probably goodies. I do wonder if the escape is not 100% success or not. We haven't had any problems so far. 
Uh. Oh. Okay. Do we need that? Oh, okay. Brings us down here. Uh, we've been... Oh, you found a secret area. That's one out of secret... 18 secrets so far. Ah. Arcanite ore. Or arcanite ore. I'm guessing that's like crafting related, like the monster essence, or... Oh, it's a key item. The hardest material known to mankind. It can only be forged by a master blacksmith. Yeah. I'm guessing there isn't 18 uh, hidden areas in the demo, but that's cool. Uh, do we want to... I assume we can fill that back up. Yeah. I was thinking it might have been needed for up ahead, but I think one of the bridges were... I don't know. Uh, well, I guess we'll see. I just don't know if it's only for the secret area or not. Oi, where the goodies at? Not cool, man. Underbug five. Goodies? More armor? Oh, hello. We'll deal with you in a moment. Oh, okay. Let's, um... Let's save and check off to the side before we get that. That is, uh, yeah, to restore our health and that, like, earlier. See if there's anything else we want to grab first. Okay, back down. Wait, is this the same... Wait, is this where we came from? But this... Wait, what? I'm so confused. This is the way we came from, right? But... Why is everything drained now? I'm not sure. But I, 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 it was, those trees weren't there before, were they? Like, because I... Place, oh, okay, I guess I did loop around. I knew that. <laughs> what are you talking about? I don't know. I was confused because it was, uh, drained, so... Yeah. No worries. Go uh, heal up and fight whatever this is. Oh, I just realized the water's actually like nice here. Huh. And just in case. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Uh, it's fine. <laughs> Meant to do it on a different slot. Oh, you're a big boy. All right, let's, uh, yeah, disarm. We want a blinding shot. We'll go... Yeah, we'll get the damage over time going. Ambush. Oh, 68 damage. Usually strikes first. More effective against targets with reduced armor. Oh, okay. So backstab first, reduce armor, then ambush. Are we all... Yep. We just all got poisoned. <laughs> That's a awkward. Okay. Um. Okay, we might go Flash of Light on Alduin. Uh. Oh, right, that re explosive shot reduces armor. And then frostbite, hopefully lower other things, and ambush. That'll be good.
Okay, still, so far so good. Um, yeah, Ruth, you heal Stray. We'll go with another explosive shot. We'll get some heals for Ruth, and you ambush again. Ooh, damn. Stray. Ooh, Stray, you are not in a good spot there. Uh, let's try and hopefully heal you up. Go blinding. Maybe Ember? I mean, it is a plant, so... Ooh, yeah, Uno, you don't have a lot of MP, do you? Oof. Alduin's gonna get killed by poison, I think. Ooh, damn, I got it close. Uh, we're not doing too well on MP. Um... Well... Try to disarm... Stray... Yeah, give Ruth an Aether. You mend your own wounds, please. Uno... You know what? Go a potion. Ah, damn. Ooh, alright. Things just got a little rough. Uh... We do have two life powders. Yeah, I think we'll use both of them. Might regret it. Okay. Flash of light for Alduin. Use a potion on Uno. And... Alright, we'll just all heal. Hopefully it'll be alright. <laughs> A little rough, but okay, we can work with that. But we need to be dealing some damage though. But still, Ruth, you heal. Um, yeah, go another ether for her. Go on Ember. And a backstab. Not sure how this thing's gonna. I mean, this is just like a random plant, right? It, it shouldn't be as strong as a dragon. <laughs> Not sure if it actually works like that, but. Alright, I feel like we need to use Stray. You handle items. Let's get Thundershock for Dot again. Uh. What have we got? Yeah, Alduin, you can give any- yeah. Wait, is it recovering itself? Oh, that's not cool, man. Let's go try- oh, I didn't even realize- uh, I didn't realize there was separate- Uh, crap, okay. <laughs> Wish I'd noticed that sooner. I just thought it was one giant monster. Oh, okay. So that the tendril bee heals. Okay. That's good to know. Let's backstab tendril bee and... Oof. Damn, Alduin. Yeah, this might be a take two situation. Because we definitely should have gone for the tendril bee first. Alright, let's heal. We bring. I could use the golden life powder. That's probably. Yeah, we'll go with that. You ambush. Ooh, good job. We may yet recover. I mean, well, we may ne not die at least. Yeah, I think best to keep her. I want to be doing damage with her, but her heals are very helpful. Uh, as for you, Stray... Uh, 
You know what? Go another ether for... No, ether for Ruth, yeah. Alduin. Ah, uh, okay. Let's... Let's just go Ember. You ambush. Ooh, 73. Not bad. Okay, still good. Still good. Straight. <laughs> Barely alive, but doing well. Let's go Disarm. Stray. Uh, I want to keep you alive, but it's kind of awkward. I feel like I need you to use an Aether. Uh, yeah, no, we'll mend wounds. And you'll have to go normal. Okay, still good. Ruth heal. How are we doing on ethers? You know what? Stray ether you, because you do have some useful stuff. Yeah, Emma's fine. Man, and not even on yellow health yet. Uh, health is good enough. I don't know, because disarm... Disarming the target, reducing strength, and friendly counterattacks three to five turns has a reduced effect on bosses. Yeah. Might be best to just stick with uh, having Ruth heal for the moment. Explosive shot. Yeah, let's try and... Oh, it is yellow health now. Okay, okay. And yeah, we'll go Thunder. Ambush. Good, good. We might just about manage here. Alright, keep Alduin alive. Go for a blinding shot. Alduin, uh... Getting low on ethers. Yeah, I'll give one to yourself and an ambush. Oh, there we go. Nice. Got a monster essence, a greater monster essence, and another golden life powder. Great job, everyone. Let's keep going. I'm not feeling so good. What's wrong? Were you poisoned? I, I think we're all poisoned, Ruth. Sweating previously. Pals of sheep. <laughs> sheep? <laughs> Sheet. <laughs> it's bog fever. I can keep going. Uh, I'll be fine. No, you won't. Bog fever is deadly without treatment. Then take him back to Northshire. Lady Ruth and I will keep going. I'll have to carry him. I'll lead an escort back to town. Alduin, escort the two of them back to Northshire. I'll carry on alone. Escort him without you? M Milady, you can't possibly... Put your differences aside, Alduin. I'll be fine, I promise. I mean, I feel like it'd be smarter just to have everyone to go back, but... <laughs> then let us go. Please return to us in one piece, my lady. I mean... Yeah, this doesn't seem like the smartest decision. <laughs> Uno? You're looking pale yourself. You should come back with us. And suit yourself. He noticed. I don't feel that bad yet. I'll be fine. I mean, maybe. But, I mean, is this is this mission that urgent? Like, they're living in the bog, and the way people spoke at town, like, it, that didn't really seem that serious. I mean, one of them literally said they come to trade medicinal herbs every so often. <laughs> like, the only thing that was concerning was the dude who mentioned her taking blood. But even that sounded like a misunderstanding even then. And the only other thing was that guy with the potion, who clearly drank more than he should. I'm just saying. Oh, the, uh, run speed just changed. Oh. Right, bog fever. Why do I feel like we're gonna pass out sometime here? Oh yeah. Now we're going real slow. <laughs>
Ah, Ruth. You're tough, but, you know, you, you can't just fight sickness, man. Just a little more. I'm almost there. Are you? And what are you going to do when you get there? <laughs> yep, that, that, that was coming. Oh, where am I? Oh, my head's pounding. Oh, goody, you're awake. <laughs> what happened? I was fine just a moment ago. I mean, no, no, you weren't. A minute ago, you've been asleep for a few hours, silly. You have a bad, you have a bad case of bog fever. Good thing you passed out right in front of my house. Who are you? Oh, um, I usually don't tell people my name, but you seem friendly enough. I'm Gwendolyn, but you can call me Gwen. Well, nice to meet you, Gwen. I, I like your hair color. Gwen? Wait, you're the witch. I'm the... Oh, uh-oh. <laughs> you're coming with me to loan you, demon witch. Demon witch? You're kidding, right? Also, I'm totally not going anywhere. You're coming with me, dead or alive. Take your pick. Seriously? Just what are you arresting me for anyway? What did I do? What kind of question is that? You've been feeding poison to the people of Northshire. Ruth, I mean, they're, they're, that's really not how it came across. Did, were you not listening to the people in town? <laughs> that dude's wife was said he drank too much. What the hell are you talking about? I gave them medicine, not poison. I'm with Gwen. <laughs> if anyone got sick, it's because they didn't follow my instructions. Exactly. Yeah, sure. That doesn't explain how you literally stole someone's blood. Stole blood? How? What are you... I feel like Ruth is more strong than, uh, you know, not, not the best investigator. <laughs> She, she's badass when it comes to fighting, maybe. Clearly, but, uh... Probably needs to work on her investigation skills. <laughs> I asked for that blood to test with. That asshole was just mad because I wouldn't go on a date with him. And for the record, it's blood testing that got me the cure for bog fever. That cure I already gave you. So you're welcome, jerk face. You're a clever liar, but your lies won't deceive me. Prepare yourself. What? What, what she's saying seems very reasonable, Ruth. <laughs> Prepare for what? A, a fight? Don't make me laugh. I bet you can't even lift your sword. Yeah, sorry, Ruth. I'm, I'm on Gwen's side for this one. <laughs> when did my sword get so heavy? My head. Ugh. Serves you right, dummy. Back to bed for you. Stay away from me, foul witch. Hmm? How long have I been asleep? A couple hours since the last time you woke up. How are you feeling? Hmm, much better actually. My head doesn't hurt anymore. And my strength has returned too. Great, the medicine I gave you takes about six hours to kick in, and you're immune to bug fever now. Thank you for helping me, Gwen. I'm not sure what came over me earlier. I'm sorry. Hey, no problem. I totally get it. So, um, you want something to eat? Or we could... Shit, I just remembered something. I have to go. Wait, don't leave me yet. Don't you want to... Wait! <laughs> Wait a second. Ahem. Don't you want to stay and get to know each other better? Actually, that does sound nice, but... One of my companions caught bog fever as well. I need to return to Northshire to make sure he's alright. Oh, why didn't you say so? Here's the rest of the antidote you took. That should take care of it. Also, there's a shortcut out of the underbog over there. You can use it to get here faster too. Thank you, Gwen. Uh, I mean, you're dead. Just, you know, come visit me sometime, okay? It does get really lonely here. Ha ha ha. Subtle. <laughs> well, that was an interesting encounter. I mean, I guess the, the fever... Uh, fever? What am I saying? Fever. Can not get my words out today? Fever would uh, cloud your judgment, I guess, because seriously, like, if you listen to the people in town, they, they didn't uh, exactly cast a lot of suspicion in my book. But uh, we best go see how Stray's doing. I'm guessing in here... Nope, there's Alduin. Lady Ruth, I was worried sick. You've been gone for more than a day. 
I'm hanging in there. How is Stray? Not well, but still alive. Una was tending to him. I'll take you to them. Stray, how are you feeling? Tired. Head hurts. I've been brewing tinctures with what we have on hand to reduce his symptoms. That's the best I can do. Thank you, Uno. Stray, drink this. It'll make you feel better. What is it? Yuck, this is nasty. Ugh. I hope I can keep this down. I recognize the smell. Herbs from the underbog. I didn't know you were familiar with herbal remedies. Nor did I, Ruth. When did you become a herbalist? Ah, uh, I know. You must have forced the witch to give it to you. For that matter, what of the witch? I didn't see her with you. Were you forced to slay her? I, um, well... I think we've more important things to worry about now. We can worry about the details later. Yeah, it's a long story. Please give Stray and I a chance to rest. It's been a long week. The next day. It is good to see you all back in one piece. You were gone for a while. I was quite worried. Ruth deserves all the credit, my lord. She braved the underbog alone with Uno. Uno. She braved the underbog alone while Uno and I tended to Stray's bog fever. Yeah, sorry about that. I let you all down. Don't worry, lad. You know what they say. Whatever doesn't kill you only makes you stronger. Learn from the experience and become a better man. So, Lady Ruth, I suppose you brought proof for me? Proof? Yes, you didn't return the witch alive, so I assume she's dead. Surely you remember to bring proof of her demise. Shit, why didn't I think of that? Ruth, you've been acting somewhat odd since you returned from the underbog. Are you alright? You haven't caught bog fever yourself, have you? I couldn't kill her. What's well, more, you didn't need to. I see. Explain yourself, please. I collapsed from bog fever. Gwen nursed me back to health. She also gave me the antidote for Stray. She saved my life, my lord. I couldn't bring myself to turn her in. Well, there was no reason to. <laughs> she literally hasn't done anything wrong. Hmm. This is troubling news, but... What kind of nonsense is this? She may have saved you, but that does not excuse her crimes in Northshire. Buddy, she literally hasn't committed any crimes. They were lies, Alduin. None of it was true. So you take her word over ours now, do you? What do you mean, you're ours? What do you, what do you mean? You're not... Like... <laughs> Alduin, buddy, clear your head. She's a witch, Ruth. If she's to prove her innocence, she must be put on trial. Oh, come on. You know exactly how that'd go, Alduin. My lord, I have a strong reason to suspect Ruth is betrothed. If that is the case, your life may be in danger. Oh my god, come on. Enough, Alduin. Allow me to address her now. Alduin is not growing on me. <laughs> Lady Ruth. Yes, my lord? You are my angel of justice. I would love nothing more than to forgive you. But if you are under the witch's spell, then you too are a threat to my kingdom. Are you kidding me? What, what is this? My lord, I can assure you that I am under no such spell. My lord, earlier she referred to the witch by her first name. That would suggest... Alduin, that is enough. One more word and I'll have you thrown out. Okay, with it, okay I'm, I'm, I can agree with that. Lady Ruth, until we can prove your innocence, it is with a heavy heart that I order you imprisoned. What? My lord, please reconsider. I will never harm you. Please give me another chance. Guards, take her away. Well, this is just silly. <laughs> Doesn't even make sense. Oh man, what am I supposed to do now? We will schedule her trial as soon as possible. In the meantime, her house is still yours. You may do, stay or do as you wish. And me? I'll grant your freedom, nothing more. You best leave before I change my mind. That doesn't even make sense. <laughs> like what? <laughs> like why is the king's just being a dick? I mean, I can understand like some concern or whatever, but it's like, there's no proof she's a witch. Like it was basically, she had to investigate essentially a rumor. I mean, she had to bring her back, I guess, but like, th there was no evidence she'd even done anything. And, like, this is meant to be your, like, your prize knight, your, like, strongest warrior, whatever, like, you're, like, you're entrusting them. But she's made a judgment. She said that 
there was like basically no merit to what happened. Like I, I don't know, <laughs> it, it just bothers me. Like I feel like this doesn't make this doesn't make sense. Eh, two homes lost in less than a month. Good going, Stray. This is all my fault. If I hadn't passed out, we would have kept going, and the witch would be dead. But Ruth still would have gotten bog fever. Ugh. Maybe the world would have been better off if I died with my parents. What was that? It came from my bedroom. Alright, moment of truth, Stray. No more moving around. Time to be brave. Whoever's there, come on out. I'll give you the count of three before I go in there and kick your ass. One, two... Huh, looks like you got me. Crap, I thought this was all my imagination. Uno? What are you doing here? You scared the hell out of me. Wait, you're not here to kill me, are you? I'm sorry, please don't kill me. <laughs> I put a lot of effort in keeping you alive back in Northshire. It'd be a waste to kill you now. Ooh, um, well, why are you here then? Isn't it obvious? We're breaking Ruth out of jail. See, I knew I liked Uno. Wait, what? But what if we get caught? Then we'll be executed alongside her. We both know she's innocent. You're not going to let her die, are you? Well, when you put it that way... Yeah, okay, I like Uno. He's the best. Ruth, not the best detective, but she's good too. Uh, hi. What the hell is that? You have killed my only son. In return, I will bring about the extinction of your entire species. My revival, my revival is imminent and your doom is nigh. Until then, have a taste of what is yet to come. Well, that's not good. Someone, call for reinforcements. We're under attack. Can't the world just calm down for one minute? This is perfect. Never let a good catastrophe go to waste. You're crazy. <laughs> but if we're gonna die anyway, we might as well try. Let's do it. Oh, alright. Jailbreak time. Yeah, I don't know. I, I feel like... I, the way that played out annoyed me. <laughs> Which I guess means I'm getting invested into this. Because I, I am liking the characters. But it's like... Obviously, Alduin is probably going to have one of them, like, turnaround times when he realizes all oh, witches aren't bad and stuff, and he has a history that makes it make sense, but it's like... I, I feel like the king just acted kind of ridiculous there. I don't know. I don't know but that bothered me. It's like, what, so all the Ruth's judgment and everything she's built up to now just means nothing because she encountered the so-called witch and determined, like, it was all lies, which was also backed up by what people were saying in town such as the wife of that person saying he drank too much and stuff, like, it, I don't know, <laughs> just, uh, yeah. Where's Lady Ruth? I bought potions for her. I'll sell them to you at a discount, just help us take care of this, please. Oh. Well. Alright. Yeah, I could use a few of those. Oh, not that many. <laughs> How many? Oh, yeah. Let's, let's go. Yeah. Life powder, oh yeah, we definitely need a couple of those. Uh, I always get three more of them. Oh wait, we don't have a healer on us. Okay, well, probably fine. <laughs> oh damn, kitty, chill. It's alright. Alright, well, anyway. <laughs> we have some jailbreaking to do. Maybe, maybe a quick save. Wait, can we just, like, run? No. Okay. Didn't, didn't think it would be that simple. Alright. Blind shot. Backstab. I thought this is going to be kind of rough. I should have bought more potions. I was just sort of used, used to, uh... Yeah, both of our healers aren't in the party, though. It's kind of awkward. Alright, let's blind shot. You ambush. Okay, that. Ooh, shit. Damn it. Uh. 
Damn, I really hate having to use a life powder already. That is unfortunate. Alright, you potion. You ambush. Oh, come on. Why didn't he get to... Ah, he should have been able to use an item first. <laughs> Dang, okay. Yeah, thought that was coming. Okay, take two. <laughs> Try and play it a little bit smarter this time. So, explosive shot. Knock the armor down a bit. Backstab, knock down the armor. Jeez. Wait, why did that not... Oh, do they both take... Oh, I should be paying more attention. I feel like the, the way the king handled that's like literally soured my mood. <laughs> Which, again, I guess that means like... In good investment into the characters for me, so... I don't know, sometimes I get like bothered between how a character is handling something and potential conflicts with how things are actually being written. So, it, yeah, it's kind of weird. Hmm, <laughs> yeah, this isn't... okay. This will be a take three. Alright, let's go with... I think we'll stick... yeah, blinding shot. Uh, best to just go with ambush, isn't it? Like, yeah. Cause I want to do the backstab first, so it does more, but we sort of need the damage. Uh, you're gonna have to use... yeah, potion for you. Backstab. Yeah, Uno doesn't have a lot of MP, so it's a little awkward. Go blinding. Yeah, we'll stick now. We'll stick with backstab. Okay, that's good. Uh, let's see. Stray. Probably go with tonic now. We'll play it safe. Gold potion. Go backstab. Okay, still good. Still good. Blinding shot. Backstab. Nice. And maybe normal attacks to finish. Probably should have played it safe. No, all good. Nice. Another trick up my sleeve. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna save on that one just in case. So I don't know if we can heal. Uh we we sort of healed enough. I'm guessing we're heading. Oh, where are we heading? Well, this way. I assume we need to make it up towards... Well, it was blocked on this side too, though, right? Oh, I see. Right, okay. Oh, one second. Alright, sorry about that. Bad timing for our groceries to arrive. Hopefully this uh, goes a little better. Oh, okay, we got a wolf man. Uh... Mangy Kobold, ah, sorry, not a wolf man. Let's go for that one first. Oh, Shiv, stab an enemy for 32 damage, guaranteed to apply poison. Sapping the target HP over time, ah, nice. Sounds good to me. Oh damn, that did a lot of damage. Nice. Let's get a potion for you, Uno. Go for a little backstab. Oh, I should have played. Oh, that is that's a bit rough. Uh, try and potion yourself, please. Damn, that ship's nice. Ah, stray. Oh, he doesn't. Uh, yeah, getting the attack first does not work out very well. Let's get that going. Oh crap, he's not going to get the potion, is he? Oh no, just. Okay. That's lucky. Uh. Hmm. I think we'll use the golden one. Because I, I, don't, I don't know. It might end up being a waste. Let's try with the life powder. Oh shit. Alright, guess that's the. <laughs> ah. 
All right, take two on that one. I think that was still probably the way to go. Uh, oh, we'll, just, we'll just go to the goblins first. Yeah. I assume they'll have quite a bit less health, maybe. I could just be assuming that because there's two of them versus one, but it doesn't necessarily work that way. Alright, play it safe. Uh, yeah, we'll shiv you. The other one's getting poisoned. Dan oh, damn, that was lucky. Uh, yeah, let's take a... Let's go with an aim shot. Because I think Uno seems to get to move faster, so I think he'll get... Yeah, he was able to use the potion. Okay, that's a, that's a much better position. Um, I'm going to go with a blinding shot on the Mangi. Ma Mangi? <laughs> Mangi. Okay, nice. That was what I was hoping for. Now, I think we'll go... Uh, I was going to have Uno use a potion. Actually, I might do that still. Because Uno gets to move first. Yeah, nice. Then plant safe. Potion that way. Nice ambush. There we go. Oh, and level 5 astray. Maybe I can be more useful now. Yeah, you're plenty useful, bud. As long as we don't have to fight anyone else. <laughs> That's, uh... Yeah. Probably actually better make sure we're healed up just in case. Uh, we use the tonic. Yeah, that'll be fine. Ooh, fish. Probably, probably don't want to fight them. That would probably not be a good idea. Ruth. Stray, Uno, what the hell's going on up there? The city's being attacked by a horde of monsters. Hold on, we're gonna break you out. Yeah, I think Uno can cover that one. <laughs> so much for security. What should we do now? We need to flee while everyone's distracted. Flee? But what about Helonia? I can't just abandon the king. He abandoned you first. Besides, they'll survive. We won't. Let's leave first and ask questions later. Ah, I am so with Uno. St. Helena, what should I do? Please guide me. Let's go before I change my mind. Yeah, that works. Oh, old grumpy. Alduin. Ruth, may I ask why you've left your cell? Oh, I wonder. You do know the castle's under siege, right? Shouldn't you be, you know, helping everyone else? The situation is under control. However, we do have a small problem here. Turn yourselves in, and perhaps I'll appeal to the king to shorten your jail sentences. Sorry, I don't listen to backstabbers. Uno, my favourite. <laughs> yeah, jerk, what gives? Hmm, I expected nothing less. I'll have to take care of this personally then. You, you expected nothing less? He's literally putting himself on the line to rescue Ruth. <laughs> like, even if you disagree, with the situation and Alduin feels how he feels. You, Uno is literally putting himself on the line to rescue someone else right now. <laughs> like, hmm. Why Alduin? Why are you doing this? Why am I doing this? Upholding the law. Enthralled by a witch, attempting jailbreak, being aided and abetted by a wanted assassin. What more reason do I need? For hell and a sake, Alduin, I'm not bewitched. Then prove it. Return to your jail cell and face trial. You've made your choice then. So be it. Oh, damn. Okay, that's how Alduin looks when he's not all anime style, apparently. Ah, uh, okay. Well, I guess we probably take out the soldiers first. That's probably the... Sm well, actually, you know what? Let's blinding shot Alduin. 
And so disarm on soldier. You'll get the poison going too. Why would you be wasting your time down here when you know the city's being attacked? I had a feeling you and that rogue would try something. Call it a hunch. You, you had a you had a hunch that the rogue would go out of their way to put themselves on the line to rescue someone. <laughs> so, isn't defending the castle a little more important? I am defending the castle, you impertinent brat. Defending it from a cursed knight, a wanted assassin, and you. I really do not like Alduin. <laughs> His backstory may make some of it make sense, but I do not like him. Oh damn. Okay. This fight might be a touch rough. Uh, and we're, we're really down on resources here. Uh, Stray's not going to get to go first. Or at least I doubt it. Ah, I need to keep Uno alive more though. Alright, we'll, we'll see how we go. Might be a little rough. So Uno, why are you here to begin with? Was the King's Bounty that important to you? King Floyd's own personal assassin. He was bound to throw you away eventually. It was only a matter of time before you'd point the dagger at him. I mean... I don't know. I like Uno. <laughs> ah, shit. Okay. I'm still not sure what Hyde does. Hmm. Let's try and heal Stray and then we'll revive Uno next. Alduin, we've been working together for years. Why won't you trust me? I can never trust anyone who signs with a witch. Well then you're kind of dumb, buddy. Is that it? This ain't even about me being cursed, is it? This is only about your past and your grudge against witches. Yeah, pretty much seems that way. I guess grudge is blind people, but man, he's not very likable so far. <laughs> just saying. I, I think we just stick with us three. I'm, I'm good with that. Oh, and Gwen. Yeah. Blue blue hair, uh, another blue hair person for the team. <laughs> that, that works for me. We can just let Alduin go away. He's too grumpy. Uh, what am I doing here? Try the golden. Hope for the best. Uh, yeah, go to sign on the soldier, please. Hopefully. Oof. Ouch. That did not work out so well. Backstab you. That's backstab you. We've got, oh, we've got two life powders left. Oh, okay. Let's try and get Ruth up. And heal. And a potion. Ooh, that's rough. Oh, damn, you can't flash a light again. Okay. Uh, go on Ether for you. Get the poison going again. I don't know if we'll be able to beat him. It's gonna be kind of rough. Uh, okay, well, at least you can heal you. Go for an ambush. Ooh. Yeah, still cutting it a bit close here. Oh no, we're out of. Uh, We do not have much to work with here. I'm gonna have to, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna have to use an ether. Okay, he healed. That's not good. I think we, we can probably both get in an attack, maybe. We'll go disarm and ambush. I don't know how much health Al Alduin has, uh, not on our team, because I assume it's probably, it doesn't match up. Uh, I'm going to have to heal, but... 
kind of, yeah. Alright, let's try another ambush. She'll get the first attack at least. Okay, still, still good, still good. Ah, oh, no more healing to be done though. Might have to just really hope that this pulls through. He's yellow. Oof. Damn. Uh. He'll revive Ruth. And we're just gonna hope, hopefully. Oof, okay. That's still not good. Still not good. Yeah, we're just, like, just gonna have a really hope. Oh. This is not gonna work, is it? Ah, bitch. That must be so close. Ah. Just kind of awkward because we have so few resources left now. Well, actually, can we run back to that shop? Oh my god. I missed that. Ah. <laughs> uh, okay. If we can do that and run back to the shop, that'll that'll cover us. Oh yep, she's still here. Nice. Wait, did I say Oh, she's still saying the same, of course. Okay. Probably not expected to return here. Um Oh wait, we haven't gone to the don't, don't mind me. <laughs> we reloaded. Um yeah, so we've got plenty of eaters. Hmm. I think like four potions or get more life powder. I think we're better off with the, the potions. Uh. No, no, I'm gonna get one of them. One of them. Is there anything we can sell we don't need? Oh, okay, yeah, we can sell that, we can sell that. Don't need the buckler. Yeah, nice, okay. Get three more of those. Yeah, that should about cover us. Okay, well that, uh, oops, <laughs> wrong way. Yeah, that, uh, I think that should about put us in a much better position. Quick save. All right, take two. I think this time we should just go... Well... It still seems worth actually using Blind Shot and Poison on him. But we will try and... Wait, which is better? Oh yeah, Disarm does more damage anyway, okay. But yeah, keep it, getting the Poison damage started on him seems best anyway. Just really need to try and keep the heals up this time. Okay, hopefully he'll miss some shots with that. Okay. So we'll go with the potion. And... Oh, actually. It's probably better to have him blinding shot, because blinding shot does good damage anyway. And while we're fighting the soldiers, they'll be less likely to hit. Or we'll get Ruth to our uh, heal. And then... Stick with backstab. Ambush just drains like way too quick. He really doesn't have much MP. Oof. Okay, well that, that's a start. <laughs> Gonna need to give uh, Stray a heal. Okay, blinding shot on you. Heal for Stray. And... Oh, you yeah, well should use Shiv, really. Because it does, like, good damage and it's the same MP. At least with the first attack. Ooh, nice. Okay. That went well. So we still got blind and poison for three. That helps. So I'll go explosive. We'll go disarm. 
And I think we'll go backstab and then we'll go ambush next when the armor is reduced. Hopefully that'll be okay. Okay, that, that's good. That's good. Um, let's play this extra safe. We'll go a potion for Ruth. We'll have Ruth heal Stray. And then we'll just go and ambush. Ooh, 83. Damn. Nice. Yeah, that, that was definitely the, the way to go. Um, oh shit, Ruth's already at MP's down. Okay. Uh, gotta play this smart. I feel like we need to just use items. No, actually, I'll keep... Um, go explosive shot with you. We'll use, yeah, Ruth can eat that. And then we'll go a potion on Stray from Uno because he'll get the move first, I think. Or not, apparently. <laughs> okay. Well, at least she's got some uh, ether now. We'll go with Desan, we'll just, yeah, we'll just do pure damage for one. Uh, keep up the poison, actually. Try and get, uh, so what, what do we have? We've got one golden, three of those. Okay. Uh, I want to make sure we do some damage each round, but we need to get the... Uno really needs ether. Alright, Ruth. Uh, go on ether for this round. And you know, we'll, we'll try and revive Stray as well. Me a little rough, but yeah, go on explosive. Uh, Ruth with the heal, and then we'll go on ambush. Oh, damn, your yeah, ambush, uh, way more damage when the armor's been reduced. Uh, okay, stray, you go on ether. Flash of light for Uno, and then an ambush. I think we're definitely going, yeah, this seems to be going better. Not perfect, but better than the last time. Um. Hmm. Let's get an ether for Uno. Do a self heal for Ruth, and. Uh, yeah, let's go backstab. Just gotta make sure the poison stays up. Hmm. I'll let you go for now, but hear this. The moment I am able, I'll hunt you down myself. You and your deplorable allies. Yeah, yeah. I like my allies. <laughs> oh. What's wrong? What do you mean, what's wrong? We've been hiding out for two days now. Wait, isn't this just... Oh no, this is North Shire. I was thinking, wait, aren't we... Yeah, we're in North Shire. Polonia should be recuperating after the attack, but Alduin will come looking for us eventually. We'll have to keep running. Is it even worth it though? I'm supposed to be Helonia's guardian... Uh, angel... I'm supposed to be Helonia's angel of justice. Now I'm just a wanted criminal. And I haven't even mentioned Typhus yet. What are we supposed to do about him? Yeah, I was still hoping that whole thing was just a dream. <laughs> Understandable. Maybe we could ask Gwen for help. You mean the witch? Wait, so you are cursed. Damn it, I'm not cursed. Or maybe you are cursed. Ooh, spooky. It's you. The one and only. I come here once a week to trade herbs and medicine. Yeah, that, that, that whole thing. Kind of a significant point, right? <laughs> So, are these your companions? Yeah, the young elf is my squire, Stray. He's from Nilheim. Oh no, I don't want to say. At least my antidote helped you, right? Yeah, thanks a lot. But, um, you're supposed to be a witch, right? You don't really look like one. Nope, I'm actually an alchemist. There's a huge difference. 
And this is my other companion, Uno. Hey, we were hired to kill you. <laughs> oh, yeah? Uh, that's cool. So you're not still planning on doing that, right? Nah, uh, no bounty. And we're on the run. <laughs> Pretty matter of fact. <laughs> that's a relief. So you're on the run, huh? What's that all about? Wow, betrayed by your own friend. That sucks. Gwen, do you know anything about Typhus? Uh, he's a big scoop, spooky dragon, right? That's all I know. Oh, but I bet my sisters would know more. Why don't I take you to visit them? That would be a great help, especially if it takes us further from Helonia. Where do they live? Far to the northwest, separated by mountains and rivers. I usually rent a raft from Cape Town to get there. Awesome, it'll be an adventure. It's better than hiding. I'm in. Then it's settled. Lead the way, Ruthie. R Ruthie? Yeah, Ruthie. Cute, huh? I just thought of it. <laughs> I'm not sure I like having a pet name. Oh, come on. Don't you want to have a cute name? Actually, it does sound kind of nice. Oh. I kind of thought the demo was going to end there. Have you heard of the Cold of Dracon? I have. Quite an unruly bunch, aren't they? Indeed. Okay. I really thought the demo was going to end there. I'm kind of surprised. Uh, I bet my sisters know more about Typhus. Let's head west to Cape Town, look into running a raft. Okay. Where, I mean, where do we go west from? It's like, there's ocean wet. Oh, the bridge. I bet you'd like to cross this bridge, wouldn't you? Unfortunately, you can't, because this is where the demo ends. Thank you for playing, though. Seriously, once you purchase the full game, I'll disappear forever. I promise. Ah. Okay. So the demo doesn't give you a hard end, it just kind of stops. Okay. Well, that was the demo for the enhanced edition of Night Bewitched. And I, I quite enjoyed it. I, uh, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> I was kind of thrown off because the demo didn't end, but now it has ended, so... Uh, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, I, I enjoyed this. Um, I probably said, like, most of what I would want to say as we went on. Um, I'm enjoying the characters, though. Stray's good. Ruth, Uno, Gwen. I'm all liking them so far. I do not like Alduin. He's a grumpy. Uh, I also do not like the king. He seemed cool at first, but... You know, he was just being ridiculous and not making any damn sense. And he annoyed me. <laughs> so, but uh, I guess it's one of the things, like, if I'm getting annoyed at a character in the game, that probably means I'm invested in the game. So it's kind of a good thing, even though it's kind of weird. Like, I try and keep it within the game, but there is part of me in the back of my head, like, wonders about, like, writing mistakes and stuff. Not that I necessarily think it was that. But it's just, sometimes when characters act so illogical, I'm like... It, like, it, it just, it hurts my brain. Because, <laughs> like, at least Ruth, she had a fever when she was uh, demonstrating her not-the-best-detective skills. But, like, because I said, like, the people in um, Northshire, there, there was people who, like, the main things were some dude um, was grumpy about his blood being taken, and but he even admitted, like, he was the one who gave her the name Witch and stuff. Even though there was someone else in town who had said that she comes regularly to trade medicinal herbs. Then the other thing, the potion, the wife said that he drank too much, so... I feel like you combine those with Ruth seemingly being, you know, pretty trusted by the king. It just makes the, the, the king's actions really great at me. But, you know, it's like... Yeah. But I guess, like, within the game world, that's a good thing because I'm invested. But there's that small part of me that goes, like, was it... Was there a little bit too much stacked on the other side that it makes it, like, weird that the king's actually acting that way? Um, because, yeah, I don't know. But Uno's great. I like Uno. Uh, Gwen seems cool so far. Sort of, uh, very easygoing and stuff. But uh, I like Uno. Yeah. And Ruth's good. No, not, not a, not the best detective, but otherwise, <laughs> very good. Stray, uh, you know, Stray's cool. Uh, as for the setup, uh... Good. I don't know where it's really going from here. Because I guess you sort of, uh... Yeah. I mean, I guess the main thing will probably be about Typhus. Typhus? Typhus? 
Tithus? Tithus. <laughs> Wait. Okay, wh whichever one. Um, but I don't know if it's going to be sort of a, a redemption quest, or it's going to be sort of like, well, they didn't trust me, they betrayed me, so I'll go do my own thing and save the world and not worry about them, or... Yeah, I'm not really sure, because I assume Alduin is obviously going to be coming back into it. I just kind of hope he doesn't... I don't I don't even want him to turn around to be a part of the party. But let's just say goodbye to him. We, we've got a nice group right here. I, I am more than happy sticking with these four. Hey. Right. Yeah, I guess we'll... Uh, yeah, I don't know. It was a good setup, though. Um, a lot of, like, the world and stuff is quite small, like, on this map. But I feel like it, it, it works well. Like, it's kind of a tight map. Like, there's not a lot to it. But the characters and everything is is carrying it for me. So, yeah, overall, very very positive experience, I would say. I am uh, I'm glad I finally got around to playing this. I, I'm definitely more interested, too, by the fact that there is a sequel to this. Uh, I don't know if it's a direct sequel. It is not Bewitched 2. So I, I would assume so. But, yeah. I don't know, let, let me know what you guys think. Because um, I said, this is a uh, day one of what will be Indie RPG month. And I'll be trying to get a... In well, I will be doing my best. I shouldn't... I was, I've been having sleep issues recently, which makes me worry. But uh, hopefully, I'm trying to get like a day or two ahead. So I've got some coverage to make sure I can get a video out every day for it. Um, I think I have like 22 on my list or something. Uh, but I know some of them will be at least two-parters. Because there's a couple of demos that are like four or five hours long. So... That's, uh, yeah. It'll, it'll be good, though. Um, but yeah, let me know if you have any suggestions for other games and all that. And, um, as for, like, one like this, um, most of the ones I'm going to be playing, there's no full releases available. Um, but for a few like this one, there are. So, if you have any interest in the full game, let me know, because I'd, I'd be pretty interested in continuing this, honestly. I, I am, I'm enjoying the characters and setup, so... I don't, I don't really, I hadn't really thought about God, that though, to be honest, um, because I said, like, most of the games don't have a full release yet, and I don't know if it's a good idea to start playing a full game when I'm trying to do the whole, uh, video a day thing for others, so, <laughs> but, um, I don't know, we, we could always continue it afterwards, or I can just try and fit it in or something, I don't know, I said, I, I hadn't really thought that far ahead, apparently, but I, I would definitely be up for continuing this. I, um, I'm, I'm curious how long it actually is. Uh, let's see. Yeah, on the Steam page it says 12 to 20 hours. So that's probably 20, 25 hours for me. Uh, yeah. Hmm. I don't know. Uh, yeah. Feedback appreciated, I guess. But other than that, I just say thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you're doing well. And, uh... Hopefully I'll get more sleep so I can do things better over the coming days. Uh, but yeah, be well. Thank you again. Hopefully I haven't forgotten anything. And I'll hope to see you soon in something else. Bye-bye.